hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks i really appreciate and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop so before any further ado let's get started before we start please join the membership channel to assess exclusive peak i'm going to offer Thanks as you support me by joining the membership channel. Remain blessed. This is A5 paper size. And here are the tests I'm going to use in this tutorial. Ctrl plus C to copy the color code, which is 1B0003. Then you paste it over here. Then you click OK. So after this now, then we are going to move forward to bring in our resources. So now import this image over here. Then position it here. Then you scale it out a little. Alright. Then change the blending mode to overlay. Then apply your layer mask, press G on your keyboard while you blend over here. Alright. Then go back to your resource file again, then import this image over here. Then you bring it down. Then you scale it out a little. Now apply your layer mask, select your gradient tool, then you blend the top and the bottom. Then go to your blending mode and change it to soft light. Then reduce the opacity to 41%. Now, import this one, then rotate the light flare or the shining light, then scale it out, okay. Now go to your blur, Gaussian blur, then make it 29.1, as you can see here. There. Now change it to screen. Then sell, go to your rectangle and select the rectangle tool. Now draw a rectangle over here. Then this is the color code. Then you can pick this red here. It's the same thing or you come over here Ctrl plus V to paste it, then you click OK. Now create a new layer. Then I'm going to copy this color code. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then click on this background here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now select your brush. Then increase the size. Position your brush. I'm going to click here. Then go to your blending mode and change it to vivid light. Okay. Now I'm going to copy my test here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I'm going to import the logo. Then reduce the size. Position it at the top here. Then click Ctrl plus V to paste. 
change the font color to white and change the font now reduce it then our position needs over here then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and bring it down then highlight it go to your test and copy this one ctrl plus c to copy and ctrl plus v to paste Now I'm going to group this together, Ctrl plus G. Then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then use your arrow key then to move it up. Then I'm going to copy this text here, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Now, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to increase the character spacing. Something like this. Now, Ctrl plus A, apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. I will reduce it a little. It's okay like this. Then apply vertical alignment again. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Okay. Now I'm going to close the character spacing. Enter zero here and click and OK. I'm going to increase the font size. Then change the fonts. To this font here. All right. Now, I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C, then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J, then I'll drag it up over here, then I'll bring it down. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font. So this font will be given out to the to the membership fans. That is, those who join the membership channel will have this font. All right. Now I'm going to apply test effect on it so use this setting then you click ok then hold your alt key and drag it to this position then you release your hand that is to copy the layer style Then draw a rectangle here. Then change the color to white.
then go back to your test and copy your test here then change the font color to black and change the font to lato reduce the font size then position it in that rectangle then apply horizontal and vertical alignment then I'm going to import these images reduce the size then position it around here okay then import this one reduce the size okay then you drag it back something like this then I will now import this one okay then I will turn this one off so that I will see this one clear then remove the background so if you want to know how to remove background check this video here I'll put the link in the description so if you want to know how to remove background in different method the link will be in the description then click on your layer mask to remove the background then right click then convert it to smart object then reduce the size Now I'm going to turn this one on. Okay. I think this is okay. All right. So I'm going to leave it this way. Then you increase the size of this one, position it well. Alright, okay. Then I'm going to increase the size of this one so that this one will be more bold than the rest. Then click on your layer mask. Then select your gradient tool and blend here. So you can use your keyboard by selecting the gradient tool when you press G then you blend this one then select this one apply your layer mask and blend it okay so now the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to copy they are names select your test tool or press T on your keyboard then change the font color to white then reduce the font size then drag it over here Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then come over to your test again, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then highlight it. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Hold your Ctrl key while you click. 
now press ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it here then i'll take this one over here then go back to your test then copy the name then select and highlight it then highlight this one go back to your test copy the name ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it to the top now i'm going to move it over here Now go back to your test and copy the name Ctrl plus C to copy then select and highlight it Ctrl plus V to paste then you go back to the second name then Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste. So now this is the outcome of it. Now hold your Ctrl key while you select the name one by one. Then hold your Alt key while I reduce the font size. okay now zoom in to zoom in you hold your control key while you press equals to now i'm going to select it while holding your shift key then control plus g so group you can now rename it then to zoom to page then control plus zero now i'm going to draw a cycle here hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle Then use your arrow key to move it up. Increase the size. Alright, now I'm going to import this fire flame. Then reduce the size. You drag it over here. Position it. So let it be on top of the cycle. Then right click and create a clipping mask. Something like this. Now position this design here, reduce the size. okay then i'm going to import this file frame again then position it at the top then set it the way you want it then right click and create a clipping mask so something like this so you can make it the way you want it to be so now double click here on this layer then go to color overlay and change the color to red now close it yes to save it 
so you can see that the background is now red not blue again all right now hold your control key Hold your control key, then you select the tool and drag it to the position of your test. Group it. So this is the anointing service. Then you select this one. Hold your shift key, then you group it. Control plus G. Hold your shift key while you select it. Increase the test. Okay. Now, Ctrl plus A, apply vertical alignment. Then you bring this one down. Then also bring the image down. Okay. Now pick your rent angle. Then you draw your rent angle over here. Then control project to duplicate it. Then drag this one over here. Hold your shift key and reduce the size. Reduce the size. Now select this one and change the color to white. Then come over here to copy your test. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool or press T on your keyboard. Then Control plus V to paste. Then change the font to Lato. Then make it bold. Then come over here to copy this color code. Then go to your font color. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then apply superscript. Please remember to share and like and comment don't also forget to join the membership channel so that you will not miss any of the exclusive offer i'm going to give out to the fans Now change the color to black. Okay. Then reduce the font. Then I light. I light the nine and increase the font size. Then I'm going to group it together. So date and time, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then go to your resource file and import this icon. Reduce the size. Position it over here. Ctrl plus U for hue and saturation. 
then you drag this one over here to apply white background color reduce it a little then come over here to copy your location select your test then control plus v to paste change the color to white reduce the font size align the test center circle like this then select the two while holding your control or shift key then apply vertical alignment control plus d to deselect if you are new here please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. If you are interested in any of my design, so I will link leave a link below in the description. You can go to the Fiverr and make an order. If you also want to join a Fiverr, then the link is in the description. You can click on it and create a Fiverr account. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate. Remember to like, share and comment.